Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about jalapeno, cream cheese, bagel bites, poppers, whatever you wanna call them, but they're low calorie and they taste amazing. No one can ever tell. Wanna know how I do it? Stay tuned and let's do this. Okay, so in our household, we love to entertain and host people. And so these I've made for appetizers for multiple guests. They have no idea that they're actually lower in calories than the normal counterpart of a jalapeno popper or a everything bagel with jalapeno cream cheese or whatever you wanna call this. I'm not sure what I call it, but it's basically a jalapeno popper bagel bomb. That's a mouthful. Jalapeno popper bagel bomb, jalapeno popper bagel bomb, jalapeno popper bagel bomb, jalapeno popper bagel bomb. I can't do it. <laughs> but you're gonna take the infamous two ingredient dough, which is your self rising flour, one cup, and one cup of your zero fat Greek yogurt. And then I add in two heaping tablespoons of everything but the bagel seasoning, and that's what the dough base is. So I'm gonna take you into my kitchen and show you how I make these and what they end up looking like, which you've probably already seen from the thumbnail, and the reaction from one of my kids. Okay, so I just took some saran wrap and put it out on my counter, and I had previously softened some cream cheese and added a half of a small can of diced jalapenos. You can obviously use fresh jalapenos. I just find that a half a can of the diced jalapenos to one block of cream cheese tends to be the best heat level and it it's pretty consistent that way. Plus it's very convenient if you don't have fresh jalapenos on hand. So then I'm putting it down in a line and what I'm gonna do is shape it into a log, roll it up and freeze it because it needs to be pretty cold, otherwise it tends to seep out. Um, some will still seep out if the dough has been rolled too thin, but for the most part, it tends to work better if it's super cold. You don't have to do it frozen, you can just put it in the refrigerator after you've done this, or even just not even put it in a log. I just found that this was easier to cut it later and have equal amounts. So there it is, gonna throw it in my freezer and get it nice and cold while I'm making the rest of the dough. So I'm gonna be using self-rising flour as well as the Faji 0% fat yogurt, Greek yogurt, and then also the everything but the bagel seasoning. So the first thing is one cup of flour and then one cup of your yogurt. We're gonna mix that all together and then I'm using two kind of heaping tablespoons of the everything but the bagel seasoning. It just gives it that bagel vibe when you are eating it. It's, it's really good this way. So a couple of big tablespoons of that and then we're gonna mix it up. I find that mixing it first with a spoon works and then take those rings off because you gotta get your hands in there and really get it into a nice dough. Once that's into a nice dough, you are ready to press it out and make your bagel bombs. So there's what it looks like as a dough. And now I got this tortilla press on Amazon. I'll try and find one similar and link it below. I've had mine for like a decade, but it works so good for this process. I just used two pieces of parchment paper and then I divided this block of dough into nine. You can make them smaller, you can make them bigger. You'll just have to run the calories the way that you do it. But I pull off a little bit, put it into a ball, stick it on the first piece of parchment paper, put the other parchment paper over the top, fold it over, press it down one time, and it makes this perfect, basically tortilla is what it makes, um, but then it's perfect for stuffing. So I just repeated that process, made nine of them, that's what it looks like, they're completed. And now you are ready to stuff them and turn them into balls. So I got out my frozen, this was like a day earlier when I made this, so these were very frozen. They really don't have to be that cold, but um, it just worked nicely to stick it in the middle. 
and then you're just gonna fold it over on both sides and then fold up the outsides, press it together, make sure it's really sealed. The better you seal it, the less chance you have of them exploding. It's not a perfect science, there will always be one or two, but you just turn them into balls. And then I use the air fryer at 390 for about six or seven minutes, depending on how big they are, depending on your size of your oven and how many you put them in, but that's what they come out looking like. I did spray them with a little bit of oil. Oh, is it hot? It's very hot. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> All right, try some. I don't want it, it's hot. Try it. Mm. Just take a little bite. Here. <laughs> Ricky wants some. Very good though. Yeah? Not as spicy as last time. But yeah, good. I didn't put as many jalapenos in it as last time. Because yeah. <laughs> everyone was like, whoa. Yeah, last time I made this, everyone cried but <laughs> because of how hot it was. But this time, perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so even freezing the cream cheese, two of them decided to explode. So just be careful that you don't make the, the dough so thin that it bursts through. Sometimes you just can't avoid it, and you really don't have to go through the whole step of freezing it all like I did in the blocks and cutting it up. It does get a little icy. You can just cube up your cream cheese, throw it back in the freezer, and then just sprinkle some jalapenos on top, or just throw it in the fridge and make sure it's super cold. You will still get a couple that'll probably decide to escape. But these were so good that my husband actually came in and ate them all and my oldest son only got one of them and he was not very happy. These could be made for a breakfast or an appetizer or a meal and they're just so amazing. You really cannot tell that they are diet, if you wanna even call that. I don't even call them diet. You can use regular cream cheese, which is what I used. You can use the one-third fat cream cheese to even lower the calories, or you could use Laughing Cow cheese wedges in the light version, and that might even get it even lower. But it's just so low anyway to me for a really great yummy appetizer that I just actually had regular cream cheese, so I use regular cream cheese. I'll probably use the one-third fat less next time. But it's so amazing. Now, I love my tortilla maker. I have used it so many times. It's just so much easier than rolling it out. But you can roll them out if you want to, and they will work just fine. It's just it, it creates the perfect circle. So I will try and find that. I've had it for so long, for years. I've had it like a decade. But they're not expensive. I'll try and find one and link it below. And then also my air fryer, I really like. It's a really long large one and even then I feel like I could use an oven sized air fryer. What's this? I said take only what you need to survive. It's my industrial strength hair dryer and I can't live without it because we got a big family but it is the biggest one that I could find and I really love it. It's very simple to use, easy to clean. I've been using it for a really long time. So if you don't have an air fryer, you could probably do these in the oven. I've never done them in the oven because I really like that crispy outside edge, but you could probably do them in the oven and just watch them. Also be really careful when you pull them out. They're really hot. If you bite right into them right away, you're probably gonna set your mouth on fire. So give them just a second to cool. And as a side note, I use this recipe for the dough with the everything but the bagel seasoning for pigs in a blanket, pizza bombs, garlic knots. I mean, we use this dough for everything. It's so good. So, hope you will try this recipe out. If you found this video informative, helpful, funny, entertaining, anything, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, hit your notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.